Hello everybody, today we're going to go and check out how to upgrade an older computer to Windows 11 by using System Center Configuration Manager or as Microsoft like to call it, Endpoint Configuration Manager. So let's just get straight into the demo and have a look. Here I am on my Config Manager server and we're just going to launch Config Manager. And in here, inside Endpoint Configuration Manager, the first thing I'm going to do is go into my device collections and I'm actually going to make a new device collection for my Windows 11 devices. So we're going to pop over here and we're going to go to Create Device Collection. And in this Create Device Collection wizard, we're going to name this Windows 11 Deployment. And the limiting connection down here is going to be set to all systems. So we're going to filter off the all systems collection to just our Windows 11 machines down here. Let's pop a comment in there and we'll say this is devices targeted to install Windows 11. So we're going to come in here uh, and on the membership rules page, we're just going to click next on this one. We're not going to actually add anything to this. We could add dynamic queries in here if we wanted to, to go and target all machines that I actually wanted to upgrade, or I could directly insert machines in here. But this is just for capturing machines later on. Or more to the point, I'm going to add some machines to this later on. So in this Assets and Compliance Workspaces, I'm going to go and select Devices. And I have a machine here called SEA w81 now this machine is actually running windows 8.1 and that's what we're going to upgrade we're going to take windows 8.1 and send it directly to windows 11. so i'm going to right click on this and i'm going to add this selected item to an existing device collection and i'm going to add this device collection to that windows 11 deployment collection that i had right there now we've set that up at the moment so we need to kind of get an operating system in here now we have actually on here a temporary folder. In fact, we have a shared folder called, uh, called SEA CFG1 Software ISO Sources. And inside here, if we go to ISO, this is actually just a directory that's ripped the ISO of the Windows 11 ISO. Um, if you want a copy of the Windows 11 ISO, it's, a, it's available on the internet. So if you want a copy of the Windows 11 ISO, you can just pop here onto Bing, look for Windows 11 ISO and download Windows 11. Uh, and you can pull the ISO down here from uh, the ISO download page in 64-bit format, okay? Uh, so all that's been done is mounted, ripped, and put into this shared folder here. Uh, and inside sources, we actually have a very special file, and that very special file is called install.wim. This file actually contains our operating system. In fact, there's two special files here. There's an install.wim and there's a boot.wim. The boot.wim kind of kicks off the install process, and the install.wim is actually the installation image of the operating system image. So that's the thing we're going to import. So let's just drop over here and we're going to drop into software library and we're going to get that image into this uh, SCCM system. So let's drop open uh, operating systems here and we'll go to operating systems and we'll add an operating system image. We're going to browse to that same path that I just grabbed before. So let's just go and grab that same path here and we'll copy that directly in there. Whack enter, pull that thing up scroll down and we'll find our install.wim. Now, if you already have an existing ISO, you've downloaded it, double clicked on it, mounted it, you can also pull it in that way as well. So we're gonna grab that uh, and we're going to come down here, click next on this one and, whoops, we need to accept the EULA. <laughs> click next on this one. And on my precast settings, I'm going to drop in the language down here as English United States because it's a demo environment. And the demo environments like to be in America. We'll change that to 64-bit because nobody's using 32-bit anymore, or at least not for most purposes. So inside general, we're going to call this Windows 11 Enterprise. Just noticed it says Windows 11 10. Oh, sorry, Windows 10, not Windows 11. Uh, that's because this older edition of SCCM that I'm using doesn't understand this is Windows 11. It still thinks it's Windows 10. It's still going to work fine. If yours says Windows 10, just replace it with Windows 11. Windows 10 and Windows 11 are basically the same operating system underneath. 
and this is going to be version 21H2 that I'm actually using here. So a slightly earlier version of Windows 11 that you actually might find, but that's what I've got for my demo environment. So this is going to take a while to actually load in now. And once it's loaded in, we need to send this to our distribution points. Now remember, System Center Configuration Manager has distribution points, and that's where our applications get loaded in. That's where our ISOs get loaded in. That's where all our big files get loaded in, ready to distribute out to computers on our network. We might have many distribution points. We might have them in different countries. We might have them in different offices, in different physical locations. We might have multiple distribution points for uh, load balancing this operation as well. Uh, but at the moment, this ISO is still sitting in that file share. We need to get it to our distribution point before that can actually go out to a computer. So I need to right click on this thing in here and I need to distribute that content. So in that distribution point here, I'm going to select my distribution point. You might have many. Um, I'm going to select my SEA CFG one because this computer that I'm using here is also a distribution point. So let's go next on that one. And let's go next on that one. And let's go close on that one. Okay, now what we need to do is look at this section down here. We need to wait for this little ball here to come back as a successful content distribution. Now, since this is an operating system, this might take a while to do on your network, especially if you have many distribution points. At this point, you want to go away, uh, wait a while for this to actually happen. But on this machine here, hopefully this shouldn't take too long because the distribution point is also the same location as the storage location of the ISO. So if I refresh that now, uh, it's currently in progress. I might need to wait a couple of minutes for that to go green. But since this is Configuration Manager, what I can do is I can actually continue on at this point. And I can come back to this later on because it's not really a real-time system. So if I drop back into my software library down here and I go into my boot images. Now I've got a boot image here for 64 and a boot image for 32-bit. Uh, These will be as part of SCCM and they're already there for you. In fact, they're part of something called the Windows Installation Toolkit, but that's a prerequisite for SCCM to be installed. So these should already be there available for you. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to customize one of these things slightly. I'm just going to go into the properties of the 64-bit boot image here and I'm going to go and drop into this customization pane and I'm just going to enable command support for testing only. This is going to give me the ability to go and run uh, a command prompt inside the installation should I actually need to. It's going to apply that. You've made changes. Do you want to update the distribution points? Um, no, we're going to distribute them in the next task. So down here, we're going to right click on this as well. We're going to distribute that content and we're going to make sure this is going out to the correct distribution point. I've only got one, remember, but you might have many. Let's go in here. Next on that one, next on that one, refresh that. We should find it goes to yellow and eventually that will go to green. Let's go back and check on our operating system. It's still yellow, let's refresh it again. Still yellow, okay, it's still in progress. We'll come back to that later on. We're just going to redistribute the uh, 32 bit image as well, just in case we ever need that. And let's just go next on that one. Oops. Oopsie. Let's go next on that one. Distribution point SEA CFG1. Next, next, and close. We're all good. Now we need to go and create an install image task sequence. Now the task sequence is actually the list of operations that System Center Config Manager will go through when it's actually doing the installation of the OS. You think of it like a really long script. Okay, so if you're doing an installation of an operating system on your own on just an independent computer, that might be insert the disk, boot from that disk, click next, select your language, select your location, give a name of the computer and so on and so forth. What we're doing is we're taking all that kind of information and putting it in a task sequence, allowing SCCM or Endpoint Manager, whatever you want to call it, to follow through a list of instructions, exactly the same as MDT works if you watch my MDT video previously. So inside here, we're going to go and create a task sequence. And in this task sequence, we're going to select and install an existing task sequence, sorry, install an existing image package. There's a few other options down here for deploying with Windows Autopilot and for upgrading, but we're gonna call this Deploy Windows 11 Enterprise. And the boot image for this is actually going to be that 64-bit boot image I had before. And we're going to run this as a high-performance power plan. And SCCM's got a lot of options for power plans, 
but if we're just running this as a high performance power plant, it's going to run as fast as possible during the installation process rather than a background installation. So on this, we're gonna go and browse for our image package. And we're gonna go and browse and select our Windows 11 Enterprise 21H2 down here and our image index. This allows us to select the images that are inside here. Remember, this version of SCCM doesn't understand what Windows 11 is, uh, so it still displays this as Windows 10, but it is Windows 11 underneath, okay? So we're actually going to select Windows 10 Enterprise, which is actually Windows 11 Enterprise. It just doesn't know what Windows 11 is, that's all. So we're going to go next on this one. And on the BitLocker, we're just going to get rid of that. Let's just go back, hang on. We need to configure the task sequence for use of BitLocker. We don't want to do BitLocker at the moment. We do want to enable a local administrator password though. And we're just going to pop a local administrator password in here. Uh, on the next pane, we're going to go and join a domain. And the domain we are actually going to join is our existing domain of contoso.com. You can select whatever domain you actually have to join here. And the OU, we're actually going to drop this into Seattle clients. Okay, wonderful. So on the specify account permissions to join the domain, we're actually going to use our Contoso administrator account here to do the domain join. But remember, when you are doing a domain join, you don't necessarily need a domain admin account to actually join a computer to a domain. You can actually use individual user accounts, but normally you would create some sort of sub administrator account that has the ability to do that. Um, so we're also going to slipstream in this config manager client. So instead of having to install the config manager client afterwards, we can actually just have this task sequence automatically insert it for us. So it connects directly to our SCCM environment once the installation is complete. That's great. Let's just go back and check on network for one moment. Yep, that's correct. Okay. So we don't actually want to do anything here with USMT. So USMT is user state migration tool. It's good for copying data off a machine, flattening that computer and copying data back using two utilities, one called scan state, one's called load state. But we don't actually need that here. So we can actually get rid of capturing any of those settings because we're essentially going to upgrade this machine and wipe everything that's on it during that upgrade process. So we don't need to include any Windows updates, even though if I did have Windows update packages, I could. And at this point, I can also slipstream in any applications I might have. I've got a couple of apps here. I've got Power BI Desktop and XML Notepad, uh, but I don't want to slip the, slipstream those in now, but I could select any of my other applications I want to. So if we go next on that one, and we complete on this one, we now have a task sequence. In fact, if you edit this task sequence, you'll actually see a much bigger list of things you can do. At the moment, this is quite simple. It's actually launching Windows PE, the pre-executable environment. That's actually what the boot image was. Uh, it's going to partition those disks, apply the operating system, apply some basic Windows settings down here, in relation to the usernames and the password for the administrator, and actually just go and throw in the SCCM client. It's about as basic as a task sequence could get. But note, you can actually add loads more things into these task sequences as well for enabling and disabling BitLocker, formatting drives in specific ways, uh, capturing and applying various different Windows network settings as well. But we're not going to overcomplicate things. We're going to do a basic upgrade down here. Um, right. In fact, let's just go and check one thing on here. Let's go underneath install operating system. And let's just go and select this apply device drivers. We don't actually need this device drivers. Um, so let's just go and right click on that one. And let's just go and delete that step down here for auto applying those device drivers. Okay, that's great. So let's apply that. Okay, that down here. Now we're going to actually deploy this task sequence out because now I've created it, it still needs to be sent to some distribution points. In fact, let's go back and check on our operating system image. Hey, look, we got a green ball now. Great, it's been sent to the distribution point. It's ready for use. Let's go to the boot images down here, 64 bit. Um, okay, so we have a green ball as well. That's all good, let's carry on. So let's go back to our task sequences down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this and we're going to deploy this task sequence. And we'll deploy this task sequence to one of our collections that we made before. So let's go and select that collection. 
and let's go and select that Windows 11 deployment collection down here okay so once we've selected that Windows deployment collection we can actually drop onto next on this one and we can make sure that this is actually set what are we going to set this to uh, we're going to set this to install and available now we have two options here available and required if you make a task secrets required on a computer this will actually install in the background onto somebody's machine uh, reboot that machine and flatten it if you make it available this is actually going to be available for a user to actually install and upgrade a computer by using the software center which is what we actually want to do for this demo so let's go and make this available here and let's go and click next on that one uh, we won't run any schedules here uh, and on the user experience we're just going to leave this all on the default settings for the moment which is fine the same with the alerts we'll leave all those on the default settings for the moment uh, the distribution points download content locally when needed by the running task sequence that's cool so that's going to download this um, installation process to the client machine before it starts to install it that's actually what you want to do especially if you're sending it out to many machines so let's go next on that next on that and we are all done now what we need to do is switch over to our windows 8.1 machine all right so we're now over here on our windows 8.1 machine you remember this nightmare uh, if we click on the start button remember when they had to put that back in we still get this lovely thing oh, what a terrible piece of software this was i actually want my software center so the way to do this is to actually search i just have to start typing software center and it's going to pop up in my search here so let's just drop into the software center itself and i've got no applications available we didn't deploy any uh, but i'm going to go into operating systems and we will see my task sequence available here now all i have to do is click install and confirm that I want to upgrade the operating system on this computer it's giving me a bit of a warning to say this is an OS upgrade and if I go in whack install that's it I can now leave this and it's going to pull Windows 11 down it's actually going to start the installation process of Windows 11 on this machine now this doesn't have to be Windows 8.1 you know this could actually be windows 7 or this could be windows 10 this process is going to be exactly the same so if you want to upgrade people's computers from 10 to 11 you could run through this exact same process with um uh with sccm so if i go and restart this computer now and it's going to go through the process of rebooting and it's going to go through the process of installing windows 11. as you can see after the reboot it's dropped directly into microsoft endpoint configuration manager here and it started that process of installing the operating system and actually grabbing that install.win file this will take a while to do uh, but it will get there eventually So now we've got our Windows 11 installed. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you'll join me next time. Goodbye. And you know the routine, hashtag like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video and will join me next time. Goodbye.